Frustration. This is all frustration. So quiet. Okay, so we're gonna be down in this uh, four and a half month old Malinois. We're gonna start to teach the down command and of course, very busy brain. So I just wanted to give a quick example and we're gonna make tension on the end of the leash and start to require the brain to be a little bit more calm and surrender to the tension on the leash. Down. Let's calm this down and smooth it out. Down. 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 This is the second time this dog has ever seen this. And once you see the dog's body go down in just a little bit, you'll see her get back up to be busy. Well, one of the reasons is because her brain is busy and she doesn't understand the concept yet. If she gets up and starts to fight it, I'm just gonna stand still and just let her work it out. I just want her to feel the tension on the leash going under my foot and I want her brain to surrender to that tension. And it is just that simple. I'll repeat the down command while that's happening to imprint, this is what down looks like. Once she's down, I don't pet her, talk to her, touch her. I'm not gonna good girl her because the minute I go in to engage her, she's gonna get right back up. So I don't want that. I wanna go ahead and just stand still, down, calm and repeat command, hear a little bit of whining. It's because it's hard for her body to be still because her brain is so busy. So she gets up, she felt that tension herself, down. Frustration, this is all frustration. Down. And I'm gonna let it happen, it's day two. <laughs> Mountain law, down. So now we have whining, frustration, down. I can't correct all of that because she'll think, she won't understand what she's being corrected for. We have to build a foundation. So once her belly's on the ground and she does that consistently and then she whines or then she crawls or then she goes to chew on something, I can give leash corrections for that to disagree with it, but not today, it's day two. So I have to just let her go through this. Down. And she gets up, self-corrects, lays back down. I'm not gonna bring in food or anything like that because and there's nothing wrong with trying to use some sort of incentive, but that's not what this is. This is this is discipline, this is structure, okay? And even if she down for food for one second, she isn't gonna stay there. And then she's not learning, she has to. It's a totally different approach. One that I find more reliable. Down. She feels the correction, lays back down. It interrupts the brain, stops the brain. A lot of times when people are down in dogs, they think that's not what it's supposed to look like. They think something's wrong and they have to disagree with all that. Well, you don't, you gotta let the dog go through it. Frustration. Perfection, her praise does not come till I say break again and let her up. And as soon as she's quiet, I'm gonna be letting her up. This is day two. She stayed down pretty good. We're building a foundation. So quiet. Break. Calm affection, no excitement. All I'm looking for is success and understanding beyond the session before. And that is exactly what she's given me. I know it. I know. <laughs> she's pretty sweet. There's nothing wrong with it in a session just like this. Till the next lesson, we just thank you so much for listening. We hope you gained some value. And again, your dog will never be what you want him to be until you're the leader they need you to be. And we just thank you for your time and we'll see you next time.